in the police station. I didn't bring pizza this time. I was wrong, it was 10.30 stuff. That's all he does though, he hooks it in on the side there. Like that is how he scores 97% of his goals. So my first piece of advice to you guys today is if for whatever reason, if you ever end up at my friend Richard's house, bring one of those plastic rain ponchos with you because the amount of pet fur that I have acquired on my hoodie from sitting there and watching a soccer, or foot, football, I'm sorry, sitting there and watching a soccer game is absolutely ridiculous. I look like I'm shedding, like I'm covered in pet hair. So you know those little plastic rain ponchos that you buy? I don't know where you buy them, but they probably cost like 25 cents. If you ever go to Richard's house, bring one of those, wear it over your clothing so you don't get covered in pet hair. And if any of you guys watch the Newcastle Liverpool game, can someone please explain to me how professional football players don't know how to score? Like the net is eight feet tall, 18 feet wide. There, there could have been 25 goals in this game, and it was over the top, barely hitting it and rolling into the keeper's hands, hitting it wide, hitting it wide. I don't, I don't understand. Like there could have been 25 goals, and no one knew how to. If, if you guys watch the game. Explain to me, please. How can a professional player be that bad at finishing? We're making a very, very, very quick stop at the mall. We were here yesterday, but there's a pair of shoes that I was like really thinking about buying. I didn't end up buying them, and I really want to buy them, so we're gonna go buy them. Might also say what's up to Alden. I don't know if he's working, but if Alden, the world's most famous Champ Sports employee, is at Champ Sports, you know we gotta say hi. Here's the Jordan situation at Champs, $199 for the Pantones, that's not bad. These, I think, are on sale at Foot Locker for $200, which is pretty decent. They got the IEs, which I love, the blue suede, it's apparently only one person bought, and apparently he's a Champ Sports employee. So, I don't know, people aren't feeling those. The Breads are still here, Motorsports are here, Pure Monies are here, like, just ever. The All-Star Sixes are still freaking here. The Cyber Monday things that came out like a year ago are still here. These are on sale for $200, and I just ripped the sale tag off by accident. Oops. Yeah, everything is sitting. Guys, I'm gonna try on the Rodmans. I've wanted, well, I've been curious about these for a while. Like, I love the stuff like the Bacons and the old school 90s basketball shoes, but this is just a crazy, like, the ankle collar's so tight on these, I don't know how these are gonna look with pants, and I'm 100% not playing basketball in these, because, like, look at that. I'm gonna break my ankle and slip around in these. We're gonna try them on, though. I think they have the I, I don't know how they're gonna look. Those things look nice on feet, but they also sort of look like marshmallows. But I mean, they also sort of look nice. It's just one of those shoes I know. I'm gonna spend $150 on them. I'm never gonna wear them ever again in my life. Shout out to the people staring at me back there. Foot Locker is why we came here though. Let's get over and buy a pair of shoes. And scratch that guys, they don't have a size. So actually, you know what? I haven't been to this store in like three, four, five, maybe even six months. There's another sports store in this mall that I just never go to because they never have anything. They might have the shoes. Okay, scratch that. What we were looking for was the Jordan 32s. They don't have them. I was gonna get the red the red and black ones we were taking a look at yesterday. They don't have my size of Foot Locker. They don't have them, period, here. I just wanna show you how crazy this is, okay? When did these release? I have no idea. Okay, maybe the link, actually, now that I think about it, they released like five months ago. Not that impressive. Answer me this, though. When did these release? Like two and a half freaking years ago, and they're still somehow sitting, and they're not even on sale. These have been out for two and a half years, and they're not even on sale. I honestly don't even, how is that possible? That a shoe that came out two and a half years ago, the Marvin the Martian Jordan 7s, is sitting here still for full, Sportcheck never discounts their stuff. I've never seen anything ever on sale at Sportcheck. This is two and a half years old and it's still sitting here. Okay, that was sort of disappointing. Shout out to the two dudes in Sportcheck. I wanted to take a picture of them. You guys were hilarious. But no Jordan 32s sitting at the mall. A little bit, little bit disappointed. Actually, I'm a lot of bit disappointed because I really wanted to try those out. I thought those were crazy and I didn't think they would sell out super quick. But it is okay. We are not done sneaker shopping. We're going to be heading over to the Nike outlet right now. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can hear this right now. It just started pouring. It, I, I don't want to go outside into this. Look at this right now. It was literally not raining when I turned the camera on. Now it is pouring. This is not a good day. I freaking hate Winnipeg. 
oh my goodness, it is actually just going ridiculous outside. Like it is pouring, pouring, pouring rain. It was completely fine five minutes ago. We're at the Nike outlet right now. We're gonna see what they have in here. My lens is getting fogged up. On top of that, I'm still feeling terrible. Like I have no energy. I just feel really, really gross. My lens is getting covered with water. This is, why do people live in the city? Like, so as usual nothing too crazy in the Nike outlet my lens is super super I hate rain this is why I hate rain because it just messes up everything gets your camera dirty gets your clothes wet gets your mood bad and we are going right back out actually it looks like it may have stopped a little bit uh, it's all good though whatever there's nothing crazy at the Nike yellow but we are gonna get back home and take a look at the pair of shoes that I picked up today because they are like they are really nice okay I honestly don't even know what I'm talking about half the time for some reason when I was at the Nike outlet, I thought I bought the Jordan 32s and then I realized, hey, they were sold out and I didn't buy the Jordan 32s. So I don't have the Jordan 32s. We don't actually have a pair of shoes to look at today. And as I said, I'm still feeling like super, super sick. I don't know what the deal is. I just have like zero energy and I'm sorry that we're not doing anything crazy today, but I need to get over this. So I'm trying to take it easy. Yesterday's video, I was taking it easy. Today, I'm taking it easy. Hopefully tomorrow we can get back to the regular schedule of things, but I wanted to buy the Jordan 32s. They didn't have the Jordan 32s. So I figured next best thing is sit here and show you guys something that is, I, I, I don't, how do I explain this best? So when I showed you the Jordan 31 samples a couple videos ago, or maybe that was even yesterday, you guys loved seeing, lots of you guys are like, yo, I love seeing like older shoes from your collection, you should do a full collection video. And I think I'm gonna do a full collection video when we hit 300,000 subscribers. That might seem like a long way off, but if we keep on going like we're going, we'll keep on spreading the word, the real fam keeps on staying strong. By the way, let me know if you're part of the real fam. It will not take that long in the slightest. So I'm really excited to do the full sneaker collection. It just takes so much time like to pull all the shoes out of their boxes To put them back in the boxes to film it to edit it. I'm not even lying to you It takes 10 11 hours of like moving shoes and filming never mind even editing it So it is a lot of work and it's just it's stupid repetitive boring mind-numbing work I love making the video, but I don't love what has to go into making the video. Anyway, I want to show you an awesome pair of basketball shoes, an older pair of shoes from my collection that maybe a lot of you guys have never even seen. I think a lot of you guys have seen this if you're older viewers of the channel. But if you've joined us in the past year, you might have never seen these things ever. And I'm very excited to show these to you. This is one of my favorite shoes in my collection. I've not worn this in probably two years simply because it is one of the most ridiculous looking shoes and I don't know how to wear it, but the packaging is crazy. The box says why not, 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 it basically just says why not like 27 times in a row. And then the pair of shoes that we got in here, oh my goodness guys, this is the craziest pair of shoes I own 100%. They come in dust bags, but it's the Jordan 28 why not Russell Westbrook player edition. So this was a player edition originally for Russell Westbrook and they ended up releasing alongside another crazy OKC themed color. That was sort of like weird camo going all around and it was like a white base with blue and orange like squiggly lines going around. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But these things are freaking gorgeous. These things are amazing. These things are beautiful. So the Jordan 28 was revolutionary. This is when Jordan brand like was really pushing the envelope with their performance. They had the decoupled outsole. So it offers a lot of movement, a lot of flexibility. And then they had the, I forget what the, the unconnected zoom bag or whatever they were calling it, but it's like this, this bag sticks out of the shoe and you can really feel like it feels like you're walking on sort of a springy, squishy little area right there when you're wearing it you can really really feel it and then the carbon fiber shank plate back here this is like a revolutionary shoe with the carbon fiber flight plate there and then you could unzip this shroud and the actual shoe was underneath and lots of people wore the shroud like tucked down like this and wore it like that and you have like the 23 logo right there lots of people wore it like this I wore it like this I'd sort of zip it up a little bit and you could see the tongue sticking out there and you could still wear it like this and they look crazy they look ridiculous but this was such an awesome pair of shoes back in the day and this is something i miss about buying sneakers i feel like this happens with everything in life 
You play your first game of basketball and you are just overjoyed. You're jumping up and down crazy. I remember when I played my first game of basketball, I was in 10th grade, my first organized game of basketball. Like I got into the sport really, really late and I know I'm still not the greatest. You guys are gonna roast me in the comments. I'm, I'm aware I'm not the greatest basketball player. I'm really good at five on five in terms of making an impact. I'm terrible at one on one because I can't dribble and I can't shoot, but that is not all of basketball. Dribbling and shooting is about maybe 25% of basketball. The other 75% I'd say I'm pretty decent at, but I remember First basketball game, I was so excited. Like my nerves were going crazy. I was like, yeah, I'm so excited. Basketball, 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 it's gonna be awesome. First pair of shoes I bought, same thing. Second pair of shoes I bought, same thing. Third pair of shoes I bought, same thing. This is probably one of my first 20 pairs of shoes in my collection and I loved these things. Like I love them, they were amazing and I could not get enough of them. But then you buy another pair of shoes and that other pair of shoes is less special because you already have 30. And then you buy another pair of shoes, that, that one's less special because you already have 75. And you buy another one that's less special because you already have 270. And they just get less and less and less special. Like this pair of shoes right here is one of the few that I've got like super excited about over the past few months, simply because like this is something I've wanted for a long time. But back when I bought these, I had them out of my desk. In fact, I might even leave these out of my desk. Just put them down right here and be able to just look at them and soak it in of how awesome those things are. I'm sorry guys that this hasn't been a crazy video. As I said, I'm feeling very sick. Tomorrow we are going to be back at it. Let me know what you want to see tomorrow. Do you want to see how to be like a supreme hype beast or do you want to see the top 10 most expensive sneakers in my collection? I might do both, I might do none, I might do one. Let me know, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.